and counting. APU pre-start in work. And the APU pre-start is in work. Pilot Baker will be setting switches in the cockpit to put the APUs in the ready-to-start configuration. Pre-start complete. APU 2, talk, ready to start. Talk back is Barb Hall ex as expected. Uh, copy that. APU copy. APU copy. APU pre-start is complete. No unexpected messages. T-minus five minutes and counting. Okay, let's go for orbiter APU start. And we have a go for APU start. Perform APU start. APU activation will be reported and repleted. And CDROTC reconfigure heaters. And work. Commander Blaha has been asked to reconfigure the orbiter heaters. Heater reconfigure is complete. And heater reconfiguration is reported complete. APU start complete, three good APUs. Hey, we copy that. We've got three good APUs. APU activation has been reported complete. T-minus four minutes and counting. Okay, let's go for purge sequence four. And we have a go for GLS purge sequence. This is a final purge of the main engines. We are transferring to orbiter internal power. And a final air surface checks uh, is reported complete. And the three main engines have been gibbled, gimbled in preparation for launch. T minus two minutes, 55 seconds and counting. And final pressurization of the liquid oxygen tank located inside the external tank is underway. Yeah. PLT, OTC, clear caution and warning memory, and verify no unexpected error. Caution and warning memory clears and work, no unexpected messages. And the gaseous oxygen vent hood and arm is slowly being retracted from the top of the external tank. T minus two minutes and counting. The whole crew have a great flight and a successful mission. Okay, let's go for it. Right, so we're closing the visor and starting O2 pop. T minus one minute, 45 seconds and counting. Everything continues to look good. At T minus one minute, the ground launch sequencer will verify that the three shuttle main engines are ready to start. One minute, thirty seconds. One minute, thirty seconds. Got your mic. Tell me on T-minus one minute, fifteen seconds and counting, and the liquid hydrogen tank is reported to be at flight pressure. One minute. 
T minus one minute and counting. T minus 45 seconds. Coming up on I go for auto sequence start. T minus 35. Let's go for auto and we have a go for auto sequence start. Atlantis four redundant computers have primary control of the vehicle's critical functions. T minus 20. 15. 12. 10. 9. 8. 7. We have a go for main engine start. 4. 3. 2. 1. And liftoff of the Space Shuttle Atlantis on a nine-day mission to deploy the Tedris communication satellite. This Atlantis roll program. Roger roll, Atlantis. Houston's now controlling. Maneuver complete. Rolling Atlantis and crew heads down and on the proper heading. Engines at 104 percent. Engine throttling back now to 81 percent. Engine throttling down and holding well. All systems performing well. Atlantis accelerating through the dense lower altitudes. Altitude now 18,000 feet. Velocity 1,000 feet per second. Atlantis beginning to approach the reg region of maximum dynamic pressure. Engines throttling down now to 67 percent. Three engines at 67. And three engines throttling up. Atlantis, go at throttle up. Roger, go at throttle up. Three engines now running at 104 percent rated thrust. All systems performing well. Good hydraulics, good electrical systems. Altitude now 68,000 feet, velocity 2,500 feet per second. Atlantis now nine nautical miles downrange. Time one minute 35 seconds. Atlantis, come check on UHF. Loud and clear. Flight controllers watching for solid rocket booster burnout. Time, 1 minute, 56 seconds. Chamber pressure tailing off now. And we have a clean separation confirmed on time. Second stage guidance now in effect. Flight controllers assessing first stage performance. Atlantis, performance nominal. Performance nominal. First stage performance of the main engines and boosters was good. All systems performing well. Altitude now 200,000 feet. Velocity 4,800 feet per second. Downrange distance 50 nautical miles. Time, three minutes, five seconds. All systems performing well. Good electrical systems, good hydraulics. Three engines holding well at 104%. Atlantis, two engine, Ben Guerrier. Two engine, Ben Guerrier, Sox, thanks. Atlantis could now make a transoceanic abort landing with only two engines should one fail. Three engines performing well at 104%. Altitude now 275,000 feet, relative velocity 6,000 feet per second, downrange distance 95 nautical miles. Atlantis, negative return. Negative return. 
A return to the launch site is no longer an option as Atlantis continues downrange. Downrange distance now 125 nautical miles, altitude 312,000 feet, velocity 7,200 feet per second. Any aboard at this point would call for a transatlantic landing. All systems continuing to perform very well. Atlantis gaining momentum and downrange distance. Downrange now 153 nautical miles, velocity 7,800 feet per second. Time, 4 minutes, 47 seconds. All systems performing well. Altitude now 342,000 feet. Downrange distance 191 nautical miles. Atlantis, press to ATO. Select Banjul. Press to ATO. Select Banjul. Atlantis continuing to gain momentum, now has enough momentum to reach a safe orbit should one engine fail. Three engines continuing to perform well at 104% rated thrust, good hydraulics, good electrical systems. Altitude now 355,000 feet, downrange distance 255 nautical miles. Atlantis, Troop Banjul 109. Troop Banjul 109. Atlantis, press to Miko. Press to Miko. Traveling at 12,000 feet per second, Atlantis now has enough momentum to make a normal insertion to orbit with only two engines. Should one fail, three engines continuing to hold very steady at 104% rated thrust. Atlantis uh, traveling at uh, half the velocity required to uh, insert into orbit. Atlantis, single engine Van Jewel, 104. Should two engines fail beyond this point, Atlantis could still reach a safe orbit with a remaining engine at 104%. All systems continuing to perform well. Three engines at 104. Altitude now 358,000 feet. Velocity 14,000 feet per second. Downrange distance 375 nautical miles. Atlantis, single engine press, 104. Single engine press, 104. 